Complete the tables using the given equations, round to the hundredths place value, or two decimal places. Using the calculator, we can determine the y values one at a time from the home screen, but using the table feature will be much faster. To use the table feature, we first enter the equations by pressing y equals, and then we enter the first equation here, which is, which is y equals 12 times 0 0.78, raise the power of x, enter, and now let's enter the second equation in y2. The second equation is y equals 25 times 1.32, raised to the power of x. And now before we go to the table, let's make sure the table is set up correctly. We want the x values to start at negative two and increase by one. To go to the table set, we press second window. The table start is negative two, which is good. The change in the table is by one, which is good. We also need the independent variable to be an automatic, which it is, so that we can scroll up and down the table. To grow the table, we press second graph. And again, the first y values are in y1, the second y values are in y2. One thing to be careful about though, is the table does round these values, so if we go over and highlight the y value, more decimal places show below. So we should always use the values down here to round, not the ones in the table. So notice when x is negative two, y is approximately 19.72 when rounding to the hundredths place value. When x is negative one, notice how if we use the table, we would round to 15.39, but that would be incorrect because if we press the down arrow, notice how there's a four in the third decimal place, and therefore we should round down to approximately 15.38. When x is zero, y is 12, when x is one, y is 9.36, and when x is two, y is approximately 7.30. Let's record the y values. Notice how as the x values increase, the y values decrease. This is an example of exponential decay, which we should recognize because the base b is between zero and one. And now let's record the y values for the second equation. Remember, these y values are in y2, so let's press the right arrow and go back up to x equals negative two, which is here. Y is approximately 14.35 when x is negative two. Y is approximately 18.94 when x is negative one. Y is equal to 25 when x is zero. Y is equal to 33 when x is one. And finally, y equals 43.56 when x is two. Let's record these values. Notice how in this table, as x increases, y increases, this is an example of exponential growth. Notice how the base b is greater than one. Let's take a look at both of these graphs. For the first equation, notice how the graph is decreasing because we have exponential decay. Also notice how a is equal to 12 and the vertical intercept is zero comma 12. And the second graph, the graph is increasing because we have exponential growth. Notice A is 25 and the vertical intercept is zero comma 25. I hope you found this helpful.